Good morning, students. I am Sarun Gitti, a teacher from Sri Shivaji Vidya Mandir and Junior College, Aung. I welcome all the students in this session of English language. In the last session, we completed the very important topic that is appreciation of poem. Alliteration is the figure of speech which is used by so many poets in different kinds of piece of literature. So what is alliteration? Alliteration is a literary device in which more than one words begin with the same consonant sound. So when we go through the poem and if we come across the lines in which we find more than one word beginning with the same consonant sound, that line of the poem is labeled as an example, an instance of alliteration. But when we study alliteration, we must keep some things in our mind. What is that? So, as I told you, in alliteration, there are more than two or sorry, more than one words starting with the same sum that is called alliteration. So, let us take the example of alliteration. My mail came in the morning. So, if you look at this line, my mail came in the morning. So, there are three words which begin with the same consonant sound. For example, the first word my begins with the sound m. The second word mel also begins with the sound m. And the last word morning also begins with a and that is m. So when there is a repetition of the same sound in more than one words in the line where that line is an example of alliteration. Let us see at the second example of alliteration. Soma saw seven sailors. In this line, the first word, Somna, begins with the sound yes here. The second word in the sentence, saw, also begins with the same sound that is so. The third word, seven, also begins with the same sound that is so and the fourth word sailors also begins with the same sound so therefore this sentence is also an example of alliteration in the third example the sound go is repeated one two three four times go and get the green leaves in the grass. In this way, when the sound, consonant sound is repeated twice, thrice, four times, there is no limit. Or that sentence is called an instance, an example of alliteration. So, the question arises in our mind, why do authors, why do poets, make use of alliteration in their writing. The obvious reason is that when the alliteration is used in the poetry, in a piece of literature, it enhances the musical quality of that particular piece of literature. But let me tell you one significant thing. When we try to point out 
whether there is alliteration or not in the particular line of the poem, we must keep one important thing in our mind that alliteration is dependent on the sound, not on the letter. Many times it may happen, you may have the same letters in the beginning of the two words. So in that situation we get confused whether it is an example of alliteration or not. Because the same letter may have different kinds of sounds and therefore in that case we cannot label, we cannot call that particular line an example of alliteration. For example, if you look at these two words, cat and circles, the first word cat begins with the letter C, but actually the sound produced by that letter K. The second word circus begins with the same letter C, but the sound produced by this letter in this word is so and therefore if these two words come in the line of the poem, if these two words occur in the line of the poem, we cannot call that line as an example of alliteration because though apparently there are same letters in the beginning of these two words cat and circus but the sounds produced by the same letter C in these two words differ from each other and therefore we cannot call that particular sentence or line in which these two words occur an example of alliteration. So the conclusion is that if there is the activity to find out an example of alliteration from the above extract, so definitely we are going to spot out an example of alliteration on the basis of the sound not on the basis of the letter. As I told you earlier, alliteration is dependent on sound, not on the letter. Let us take more example from the poem we studied in the earlier session, Song of the Open Road. I will explain each and every line where we have the figure of speech alliteration. In this way, we discussed how alliteration is identified in the line of the poem. So let us see the few lines from the poem Song of the Open Road. I read the first line. The long brown path before me, leading there you I choose. If you look at this line, there are two words which begin with the same consonant sounds. Long and leading. So these two words, long and leading begin with the same consonant sound and that is low. So when there are two consonant sounds in the beginning of more than one words in the same line, that line is called an example of the figure of speech alliteration. In the same way, if you see the second line from the same poem, henceforth I whimper no more, postpone 
no more need nothing so in this line also we have two words which also begin with the same consonant sound and that is no look at the words need and nothing the word need also begins with the same sound no the word nothing also begins with the same sound no and therefore it is also an example of alliteration the third line which we come across is an example of alliteration in the same poem is done with indoor complaints libraries curious criticism so here we have three words complaints curious and criticism so look at the last line came from complaints curious and criticism these three words begin with the same sound that is co for example complaints complaints begins with co curious also begins with the sound co and criticism also begins with the sound co and therefore this line is an also example of alliteration we can explain this line in this way the given line is an example of alliteration because in this line the sound co is repeated thrice therefore this line is an example of alliteration so many poets many authors even many companies make the use of this alliterative effect when they give name to their products or when they try to enhance the musical quality of that poem so this is how we have discussed the figure of speech alliteration in detail i hope you must have understood the figure of speech alliteration so i stop here